Hi, brothers and sisters. This is Father Victor with my alocutio to you, um, Legionaries of Mary, my dear brothers and sisters. Uh, how blessed we are to be on this journey together as Legionaries. We're in a journey with Our Lady. And Our Lady had uh, difficult moments in her journey. Um, there was no room at the inn. Um, you know, persecution come up in her life. Just the day-to-day -day struggles of putting food on the table. She didn't have a lot of the uh, comforts we have in our life today. So even though she was conceived without sin, she had her own sufferings in her life and, and journey. Think of the political turmoil in her life. Romans, there was oppression, things that were just totally unfair. And, um, but Our Lady kept trusting in God and kept saying, fiat, let it be done to me according to thy word. And so in our times today where in addition to having COVID-19 and our lack of fellowship, uh, there's also political uh, division, sharp political division. There is uh, rights being violated, such as um, in New Jersey, 10 people got arrested for praying at a synagogue. And uh, there's political uh, turmoil, violence, uh, things as we see going on continually in, um, in Portland. So, so in these times that can, can kind of be frightening, we need especially to pray and to not constantly consult social media. Uh, constantly, we see the anxiety rise as you, as you look at all these stories and things like that. It's fine to see what's going on, but we also need to engage deeper in our prayer life. I think now more than ever, prayer is necessary. Um, and we need to encourage others to pray. We cannot let our faith grow cold and our love grow cold. First, our love for one another's legionaries that we look, we look out for each other. We look out for the sick, the, the old that are in our parishes um, and to reach out. But before you reach out to them, you, each one of you, look in your heart and with Our Lady say, Fiat, I accept, I accept this journey this journey, my journey now, with its crosses that God has allowed in my life. Because you see, our journey has a destination and that's heaven. That's that we become saints. You know, there was a, uh, I remember there was a mug for Harley Davidson, a, a, a slogan that said, the journey is the destination. And that's what a lot of people do. They live just for now and for pleasure and um, just, just focus on this world. But we have to remember that we have a destination, that's heaven. Just like Frodo in the Lord of the Rings, he went on a journey, an adventure. Why? To destroy the ring of power. So he had a purpose. We have to keep focus on our purpose. We can't be like the five, uh, the virgins, like the wise and foolish virgins, the virgins that fell asleep, the virgins that just um, lived for now and they didn't bring extra oil. Right? We have to stay focused on the bridegroom, on our Lord. And so for this, we need faith deep faith in God, that God is everywhere. We have to not be afraid because God is with us. He's made a covenant with us. Never will he abandon us. So let us um, remember, like Our Lady, her journey, which was filled with uh, hardships, she ended in, in heaven. And Jesus, just like Jesus was with Mary in her journey, Jesus walks with us in our journey. In the Eucharist, we get to adore him. We get to receive him. We get to love him. In our journey too, uh, will end in heaven. We abide in our Lord. We take shelter in our lady's mantle, praying the rosary every day, asking for her constant prayers. And when we've been receiving these graces, these gifts, our faith has to be zealous. We need to continually to not be afraid and uh, to look, look at our parish, look at the people that are in their homes. And as legionaries, our bread and butter is reaching out, going out. So don't let the fact that we can't gather in parishes just shut us down. Because remember that a lot of what we do is going out. And people are in their homes now. And maybe they need an image of the Sacred Heart to pray with. Maybe you can make a little prayer book or something to give them um, to grow in their faith and to pray more every day. Maybe it's an image of Our Lady to bring to the church. Obviously, um, Pray about these things. Say, how can I bring this idea to my pastor? Um, trusting in his guidance and praying for him. Because uh, it's, it's hard for all of us. And so, um, so as legionaries, we, we need to be leavened in these times to keep the faith alive. 
you know, the Legion, I think in some countries, kept the faith alive when there were a lack of priests, missionaries. Um, I just think of, I mean, this is way before the Legion, but in Korea, it was lay people uh, that were keeping the faith alive in Korea uh, when there was no priest there. They kept that faith. So we need to keep the faith alive uh, through our prayer, through the rosary. Um, and so this is our journey. So what is your journey? Your journey is to be a saint. And God allows the struggles, the crosses, to draw us near to him and trust. And through those, he makes us holy. So don't say, I could only be a good legionary. I could only be a good, good Catholic if we didn't have COVID-19, if we didn't have all these problems. It's in these God is calling us to be saints. So let us be happy that we're in this time together, an interesting time that we can bear witness. And remember this last thought. Mary wants us to not despair, to not to love our neighbor, to love those, you know, that we that are, are lost, right? That we pray for them, we love them. And we know that if it wasn't for the grace of God, we would too be lost. And also, um, but to remember that she calls us to stand firm in our faith. Like the mother of, in, of the Maccabees, in the book of Maccabees, the seven brothers had their mother. And the mother said, do not fear this tyrant, right? You know, have God made you. Don't worry if you uh, will die in this life. You have to hold firm to your faith, son. And she, she encouraged him. His, her children, and they all held firm to their faith. So Mary, in the same way, she loves us, but with a, lo a true love. That means she wants our, our true happiness, that we hold firm to our faith and become saints in heaven, to love, uh, to love God more than our own lives, because in God is our eternal life. May God bless you. Happy Feast of the Assumption. We ask St. Maximilian Colby to pray for us who faithful follower of Our Lady, and his journey ended in offering his own life and sacrifice. He was being in the starvation bunker. He was praying. He was singing to Our Lady, comforting the other men with him. So we ask Jesus to help us, give us strength to keep loving in these times. Amen. God bless.